In a case that has drawn worldwide attention, a Minneapolis police officer now faces charges for the fatal shooting of Justine Damon. Hours after the charges, the Minneapolis Police Department announced that it fired Officer Mohammed Noor. Noor turned himself in after the Hennepin County attorney charged him with third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. On the night of July 15th, 40 year old Justine Damon called 911 to report a possible rape in the alley behind her southwest Minneapolis home. A half hour later, she was dead. Court documents say that Noor fired a single fatal shot across the vehicle from the passenger side of the squad car. We have team coverage of the charges with Reg Chapman in South Minneapolis, but we want to begin with Esme Murphy. Esme. Well, Millie, as you mentioned, Noor has been charged with one count of third degree murder, one count of second degree manslaughter in Damon's murder. Both counts carry a minimum of three years in prison if he's convicted. The complaint accuses Officer Mohammed Noor of acting recklessly when he reached across his partner's chest and fired the shot that killed Justine Damon, who was approaching the officer's SUV just before midnight on July 15th. By law, third degree murder is when a suspect is acting recklessly with, quote, a depraved mind. Reaches across in front of his partner, shoots a gun at an object that he can't see. That's evidence of a depraved mind, in my view. The complaint for the first time reveals the statements of Officer Noor's partner, Officer Matthew Harity, who said he could not tell if the person who suddenly approached the SUV was a man or a woman and that he perceived his life was in danger. He also unholstered his gun but did not fire. Noor has repeatedly refused to give a statement in the case. Henneman County Attorney Mike Freeman said Noor was in a position to see even less than Harity and that he recklessly fired. Officer Noor did not act reasonably, did not act objectively reasonably, and abused his authority to use deadly force. The written charges leave unanswered questions. Among them, Damon had called 911 twice that night to report a woman screaming behind her home, saying she thought it was a possible sexual assault. Yet in an eight-month investigation, police have found no evidence of an assault in the area that night. Now, Noor is still in the Hennepin County Jail at this hour. His first court appearance is tomorrow afternoon. Noor's attorney, Tom Plunkett, issued a statement this afternoon that says, in part, the facts will show that Officer Noor acted as he had been trained and consistent with established departmental policy. Officer Noor should not have been charged with any crime. All right. Thank you, Esme.